the shake uh, and by the swamp mama johnson and stand by we've got two of the boys in <laughs> Can you hear? Can you hear? You just can turn the volume up if you... We're going to go with track one. Do you want to go track one or do you want to start from the 14 going up? Uh, probably the first track would be... Um, first track? That's the old one, so yeah. Yep. Okay. Good. Super good. So you like cruising? Is that the song you like? Or what, what yeah, I like cruising. cruising. Yeah, we've got um, a 60 Chef Coop in Parlour. And I also... We should make a film for that. <laughs> and I also rode a uh, lowrider Virago motorbike. Everyone said, you so can't there, get us, you can't get us. I said, watch me. Tell me I can't get you a motorbike. That's why she likes cruising, <laughs> so, I see. Cruising. Reason, baby. Except, for, except for the lock up bit, where you get locked up and at the end of it. <laughs> Are you sleeping in the lock up tonight? No, no we won't. Yeah. Yeah. And you are with Rockabilly Carolyn right here at Apple 98.5 FM, 24 minutes past 10 a.m. And in the studio, live and exclusive with the band called the East Enders. And uh, I have Tom and Gavin, two of the guys out of three. And we're going to talk about, well, we were discussing it before we came to air with Tom. There's a story behind all of these songs. Tom. Yep. Um, thanks for having us. We really appreciate it too, Gavin, myself. And, Thank um, you. Right. Thank the, you. The story behind uh, the CD. Um, many years ago, look, Gavin and I have been neighbours since the Werribee days um, for 20 odd years, and then we shifted out to Ballyang East. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, we're still neighbours. Um, yes, we bought the blocks next to each other, so that's just, <laughs> that's quite amazing. That's, it was. It's sort of... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what we what we usually do is, um, before East End has even begun, we, we have campfires and mm -hmm. a couple of barbies and New Year's, and we just drink and start playing some music. And right. Sort of grew um, from there, really. It, yeah. It, yeah. it took on its, a life of its own. Good. So it went from yeah. there, and then all, all of a sudden the pandemic hit. And then uh, mm -hmm. things sort of to change a bit. So um, we couldn't do what we wanted to do. And something happened. We decided, you know, why don't we start writing stuff? So I wrote this little tune called Coronavirus Blues in March 2020. and mm -hmm. Which didn't um, make the uh, first album, by didn't, the way, didn't unfortunately. The album. It'll no, be on the I'm, second. I'm looking on here and I'm thinking, no, Tom, it's not on here. No, I think that's <laughs> going to be uh, probably the last resort sort of song. But anyway, um, <laughs> something happened after that. We, we decided, well, we should start writing some stuff. Mm -hmm. um, as time went on and uh, we couldn't work, we started penciling down some tunes. Uh, East End is down the highway. So sort of started mm -hmm. and then I started to pencil in we had about 14 songs going at one stage and then next thing you know the song started to happen oh, um, cool. and then over time we from when was it again yeah, about July about. onwards we ended up with about 30 odd so we're up to 40 48 songs yeah. now oh, wow. but, but we wanted to, to we wanted to think hey we should get something going but we need a drummer so we, uh, we had to audition because it was only Gavin and myself playing mm -hmm. together and um, I think we did a couple of gigs at the Balan oh, yeah, Racetrack. We, we had played at the Balan um, race, Racetrack there with yes. the Balan Vintage Machinery Club. Uh, uh, yes, so yes. we did a couple of their major events there and they were quite welcoming. So yeah. um, we sort of kicked off from they there. They are very welcoming up there, aren't they? And we, yes. and we played just a couple of covers and threw in a couple of the songs and people started to say, hey, what's that song? Mm -hmm. And we mentioned it was one of ours. So that's what got us going. Right. Lo and behold, all, all between the lockdowns, we needed the drummer, so we auditioned for a uh, drummer, and we found this guy called Mark Brown, who we call Sticks. He's yep. from Lara, and he come to audition. Local boy. He, right. he come to audition, and we were um, just practicing down at the, uh, the Ballyango Soldiers Hall. Uh -huh. And yep. after about three songs, I looked at Gav, he looked at me, there was a big grin on his face, and I had the same thing. I said, <laughs> this, this is the guy. This guy is awesome. So, yeah, yeah. So he agreed to join us. Yeah, it's really got a click, doesn't it? You know, Absolutely. You can have 
And this is what happens with a lot of bands that jam too. You know, you can have top musos and it just sounds so terrible. It doesn't blend. But that's what you've got to, you've just got to find that blend that suits you. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah so I mean, we played a song, Come Together. We played that song and I'd never heard a version of Come Together with drums in the background that we did and that's... Mm -hmm. That was it. This yeah. guy's the. This he's the one. Oh, <laughs> he certainly is. So we had a couple. <laughs> I was listening. We had a little bit, you know, a bit of a break, and then um, mm -hmm. Mark said, "How did I go?" So mate, you're in. Oh. And yep. Fantastic. Next thing you know, we're a, we're a band now. We've become a three-piece band. Yeah. Um, between. Then we got talking about making a CD. We thought, hey, we've got enough songs here. Why don't we just pick fourteen songs and go from there? So we mm -hmm. did a list each. Yep. Yes. And we virtually picked the same. Right. And then in between all these lockdowns, I think lockdown five. Right. Who knows? Oh, yeah. I think I've lost count of the lockdowns. Lockdown 3,400, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Well. We, we booked into a studio called Airwave Studio in Altana Meadows. Mm -hmm. Michael Zamet's the producer there. Yes. And then um, it took us three days to do the tracks, the vocals, and then the touch-up bits. Right. Um, and then in between all the lockdowns, we got the, the tracks all done. The CD was ready to go. It's just a matter of... Um, getting them pressed, but lockdown hit again. So, so we had the master in lockdowns. Yeah. We made it all work. <laughs> so yeah, we had the master copy, right. um, and then I went to a studio in Kensington called Deck Studio. I got them to start the ball rolling. Oh, fantastic! Now, please let our listen. We're going to uh, go to track one in a moment. Um, where they can get the CDs from? Yep. Well, they're uh, they're available on eBay right now. So oh, um, easy. Yep, you can just jump on eBay. Um, put. Um, Put in EastEnders down the highway, EastEnders original band, and mm -hmm. uh, you will find um, they're on sale right there. Yeah. Oh, also, also, also available Food Works Fuel in Main Street, Bacchus Marsh. Um, oh, yes. Go see Nigel, Tim, and the family. Um, we get our cars and that service there, so they're fantastic people. So if you never get your car service, Food Works Fuel, Main Street, Bacchus Marsh, and also down at uh, the Racecourse. Cottrell Street Fish and Chip Shop in Werribee Racecourse. Is oh, it Racecourse Road? Racecourse, 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 Racecourse Road. Sorry. They're, so, they're yeah. up there at the moment as well. And plus, oh. I, I take them around to all my jobs and I seem to sell them at wherever I go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a good idea. <laughs> exactly. yeah, yeah, we do the best we can. Yeah, well, no, that's good. But uh, some people don't like going online, you know, because scams are happening and a lot of people are, you know, a bit weary of that. So it's good to know that Food Works, and of course, that's just opposite the uh, Shire Hall here, where. Um, Yes, where we run our rockabilly dances, baby. All right. Oh, yeah, we rock this town. The top rockabilly band, of course, is the Straight Hats. Straight. Yeah, Victor O'Neill. The whole family are very musical. They were all taught, you know, so they're good. But we're going to go to what, um, your first song now. It's called East Enders Down the Highway. Yep, title we're track. Gonna, yep, we're just going to play uh, some of that, and then we're going to come back and talk about it because you, Tom said that there's a story behind every one of these songs and I'm going to check that out folks. Uh, absolutely there really there really is <laughs> there really is okay here we go with the east enders <laughs> Yeah. 